Lying in a hotel sofa bed. Two weeks in and we Good morning, you guys. So, yes, I am back in Cebu finally, and I am ready to have a routine again for the next two weeks before Ben and I start traveling. So, it's our first day back in Cebu. Yesterday, we arrived at around 8 p.m. So, we were so scared that we would get delayed because of what happened during the New Year's. But thankfully, we were right on time. So, of course, just as we get back from a trip, we always, always do grocery first and foremost. Because last December, since we didn't really get to stay in Cebu for long, we would only buy food enough for a few days. But it's going to be the first grocery trip of the year, which I'm very excited about because we have two weeks of stability so that one i'm really really looking forward to anyway i don't feel my best right now so it's all the pig out that i did during the holidays during our traveling since december was just full of that and i'm wearing loose clothing i don't have my new lounge lashes too that's why i'm wearing my specs it's been a nice first few days of january i don't have a vlog but we did spend it in uh, my lola's house in the province and it was so relaxing it was just with my brother my sister and with ben and then alf came right after his thailand trip and there we were just really really relaxed and i'm ready to start vlogging again for you guys because i miss you guys we didn't have a holiday vlog so anyway come to the grocery with us i know it's one of the things that i love to do and you guys love watching so let's go So I'm starting my day with Pilates. So this is the first workout of 2023. Technically, that I'm gonna be taking a class because I tried working out right after New Year's, but it was just like a one-day thing. But like I said at the start of this vlog, I kind of let myself go in the last month of 2022. Like I didn't have any workout. We were traveling so much, so. I was eating my heart out too and I don't even want to check my weight but I'm sure I gained. But it doesn't matter because at least it's motivation for me to go back to my diet. I really wanted this vlog to be my first is because I'm actually going to be seeing my OB for the first time again since my surgery. So the OB that I'm going to be seeing now is based in Cebu just so it's easier for me to keep seeing her as much as I need to and she's the doctor that I talked about in my last vlog last time I talked about my fertility journey so I'm just gonna be getting a pap smear today she's gonna be doing tests on me that I need just a little workup to see and then there that's it so I'm really excited for that I'm excited to bring you guys with me too and let's start today 
Good morning, guys. My heart's been ripped wide open. So many mixed emotions. It's like I finally noticed. I've been set free. I've been set free. I spent a lifetime running. Staring at the wind on a cloud and morning. Trying to lick her wounds while the tears warming. Sometimes it's like a bird has never shipped out. Sometimes you go around and I'll never run the route. This week has been a mess, but I'm gonna tell you. We're a bit at work, gonna make it brand new. You gonna plot a way for I come back. Holding this on time and I promise you that I promise you that I promise you that Hello We can take this ride Wherever it goes As long as you're Milana, you need exercise are you lazy, baby girl? Milana, are you lazy? Oh, hello! You're so big now! You're so big now! Is it Takao also this one? Yeah. Takao and Lagan. Takao and Lagan. Yeah, I'm okay. Can I play in peace? Oh. oh my god. Milana girl. You want food? You want food? Milana, you want food? Is that food? Is that food? Oh. <laughs> Good morning guys! So Ben and I started our day pretty early and one of the things I really wanted to do for the new year is I wanted to get checked again with another doctor here in, in Cebu. I think if you guys watched my vlog about why we're taking a break vlog, which is in Boracay, a few two months ago, I think I shared with you guys that Ben's tita, Tita Mia Chong, is actually a really amazing OB here in Cebu, and I thought of changing my doctor and trying it with her this time around because supposedly my doctor in Manila, Doc Navarro, said that usually in three months after the surgery that i did you get pregnant or at least most girls that she's handled get pregnant and because it's been three months last december and nothing happened i just wanted to have a change in perspective and change in treatment and then long story short i felt like i just needed to do it for the new year and i think my gut feel was right because i did a tvs this morning i'm so happy that ben went with me and waited with me but there were findings, so I do have almost the same, but it's good. I don't have PCOS anymore. It doesn't show in my findings anymore, unlike the one that I took last July. Which is a good thing. It means that the lifestyle change that I did last year really worked because PCOS was all about stress and food, supposedly. But yeah, like, there's just a change in lifestyle always just helps, and it means that it did. But 
the sad thing is, I do have a chocolate cyst now on my right ovary. I used to have only on my left ovary and it was so tiny. But now, I have it in my right ovary. There you go. And it's pretty big. And where it is, the doctor was telling me earlier. So this is where like my eggs are supposedly but a chocolate cyst is blocking it so i'm just happy like i think because of the perspective that tita mia helped me have last december about how leaving it up to god and then just you know distracting myself but really just making sure that i do the right treatments help me have a different mindset and now I'm just more chill, I'm not stressed about it, I'm not sad about it. I'm just happy that I just know about it now so that I can do something about it and then just leave it up to God. So there, I'm going to send her this and talk to her maybe through just Zoom or just through a phone call and then hopefully we can make a decision if I'm gonna get another surgery to have it removed or let's see what treatment she's going to suggest for me to take. So there, that's the little update and I'm just happy that I took the test. But there's another test that I wanted to share with you guys that Ben and I did last year before we traveled. And it's a circle DNA test. And I'm going to share with you guys the results maybe later when I get home from my day. I have new lounge later, fine freaking Lee, because I feel so incomplete without it. And then I'm just going to get Milana groomed. And then I'm going to share with you guys my results. So there, guys. Again, to those girls who are going through the same thing with me. Or if you guys are about to get married, if you guys got engaged or you just got married, I really suggest that you go to an OB and just do a workup. Because that's the one thing I don't regret. Always getting checked because you never know what's happening down there. For me, I didn't even have symptoms when I had a chocolate cyst. And I'm just happy that I finally know that why I didn't get pregnant again. So, there guys. I'm gonna cook lunch and let's go on with our day. It was time, it's the perfect sound. Three words I spelled out in your eyes. Finally, going to share with you guys the DNA test that Ben and I did. So it's actually the circle DNA test, and all I had to do was order the kit online. So it was delivered right to our doorstep. So I'm going to insert a clip right here of like a month last year i think we took it november and november. so that you guys can see how easy it is to take so i just got home from the sky pod and this is like the past me i think yeah because i'm sure this vlog will be way 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 in the future after i get my results we are going to do something that i've been wanting to try for the longest time this one i think you've seen it in some vlogs already but the reason why I'm doing this is because you guys know that Ben and I are trying to conceive, we are trying to have a baby, start a family, and this is a good way to know what traits, what sensitivities, things we're gonna pass down to our future family once we've done this. It's just nice information. It's nice to know. It's nice because this one, okay, so I got two boxes here with me because of course it's not only my DNA that we're going to be testing but Ben's as well. So I got the Circle DNA Premium Kit, so this is the most comprehensive DNA test in the world and it's nice because it's really packed so let's take a test now and then I really can't wait for the results so okay let's see what's inside a kit say hello to you this is a little letter from a team so first is you have to register your kit and then you have to collect your sample and then you're just going to return your sample using this little plastic right here and then that goes along with the FedEx. So there's also this one. It's like a little kit where you can just mail it easily to them. So let's get my sample with Ben. Let's just wait for 30 minutes because we can't eat, drink, or chew gum, or even like Ben can't vape before taking this test for 30 minutes. So I'll see you guys in 30 minutes. Welcome, babe. Welcome to our little DNA collection space. <laughs> okay, let's do it. How do we swab? Is there an instruction? Rub. Rub the swab inside your mouth and against your cheek. 10 here, 10 other side. Place in tube and break the stick at the score point in the middle. 
screw the cap on and then shake 10 times. G. Shake, shake, shake. So let's send this back to Circle DNA and wait till we get our results back. So see you in the future, guys. So now that you know how easy it is to take, all you have to do is send the kit right back and the results will appear on the app that you guys downloaded to register the kit. So now, Ben and I will share with you guys what popped up. It was interesting, no? It was very interesting. Yeah, it was really interesting. First is, I have dietary sensitivity, so it means that I'm lactose intolerant. Are you, are you also? Ben also is. I'm lactose intolerant and spice sensitive. And mine is fat sensitive, salt sensitive, and taste sensitive. So I think it may. It's true. Yeah, Lactose. I think it is. Yeah. But you know, babe, when I actually read the summary, it says that if you're salt sensitive or spice sensitive, your body could react to it by bloating or you mm. get hives or you get some sort of an allergic reaction. Do you, ba, with the salt yeah, so, and fat? Like, oh. I love chips, right? But then I bloat so uh, easily with okay. it. So maybe with spicy food, you do and maybe also without realizing it because lactose intolerant i am at some point so with this part of the test you can actually find out if you're a carrier of any of the 163 types of inherited conditions that may affect your future family so there are a lot of things that you can actually pass down but i have one which is the hereditary fructose intolerance meaning I am a carrier of the ALDOB disease causing mutation detected for hereditary fructose intolerance. It could be like the kid could experience nausea, bloating, abdominal pain, diarrhea, vomiting, and hypoglycemia. So it's nice to know that. So at least now I can, when we have a kid, I can introduce fruit slowly, not like all of a sudden. Yeah, I all can of a sudden just feed them like feed them so everything. much fruits. Yours is. Voila! All negative. All negative. Wow, babe, wow. you're so your genes are so healthy. It's all negative, guys. <laughs> negative. Yeah, that was so cool. So that was cool to find out. And then the other one, this one, I was actually really interested to know this. It's cancer risks. It's crazy how a swab can find out if you're a carrier of a cancer gene. Well, Ben doesn't have one, right? Yeah. Like, it's zero. Like, he doesn't have a cancer gene. Cancer. Well, thank you, God. No cancer-causing mutation is detected. Yeah, so that was amazing. So it's nice to know that from Ben's side of the family, there's no cancer gene. And then another one is common health common risk. Health. My only elevated risk is hypertension, which also runs in my family. Mm. So I have far. heart disease and high cholesterol. cholesterol. But high cholesterol runs in your family. Yeah. Last is brain health. So for my brain health, minus I don't have any risk. Yeah. Voila. Voila. Voila also. Nice. Nice, babe. Yes. There's so much more things that you can actually find out with the circle DNA test. But one cool thing though was the ancestry composition. So I think that's what people think that when you take a DNA test, that's all you're gonna find out. But what I am is surprisingly is I'm 36.9 Vietnamese. That was so weird because I don't think I have Vietnamese blood, but I guess I do. Me, I'm 53.7% East Asian, which is Chinese. Chinese. <laughs> yeah, because like we thought Ben was only one eight Chinese, but yeah. I guess apparently like, I'm ha more than half. More than half. Or maybe because I was telling him, maybe because his mom also has a little bit of maybe, Chinese yeah. blood and then his Lola. And I mean, every I think all of us Filipinos someone have Chinese blood. Yeah, so maybe that's the composition of our ancestry. So there guys, like you'll find out so much with just one test kit. So even if it's a little bit pricey, for me and Ben, it's really worth it because you find out all of these things and you will know how to prevent it or what vitamins you could add into your diet or what food you can remove from your diet and just what you're because allergic to. yeah those things yeah. so you guys can purchase the circle dna test as well i'm gonna be putting a code right here on the screen for a discount it's actually a 33 percent discount so that's very big and worth it so you guys can also order from the link down below and that i'm going to be putting in the description box 
Good morning, guys. So it is a Wednesday. It's I can't believe it's really the second week of January, but we are a few days away from San Lulog, and Ben and I really actually wanted to go to San Tonino today, but his mom called us saying that it's impossible to go to get inside, especially now that it's raining. There's just too much people, and she really advised us that maybe we can just go after San Lulog. Celebrations are up because like i think the amount of people who are coming into the church now are just crazy and it's a good thing because it means that cebu finally got its famous festival back and everyone's out again and things are finally getting back to normal i heard there are even a lot of events happening this weekend but ben and i will hide in our little bubble <laughs> i didn't accept work at all this week for the fear of there's just too much people or whatnot Anyway, so Ben and I are just gonna run a few errands today. We are having a lunch date first and then we're going to both head to a meeting just for a quick errand. And there, that's it. So that's our agenda for today. If you guys have been wondering what I've been up to, I'm just trying to do all my beauty stuff to finally get my confidence back. Like I said in the start of the video, I really felt, I don't know, I gained weight. Of course, everyone got the holiday weight and now that I took everything off like what like my I call them my little maintenance so I don't have my nails but when the new year started my lashes were gone so it was very relaxing but now that I'm finally back to vlogging and working so I'm going out again so I need to get everything done I don't know it's just me especially new lounge so I'm finally gonna have that tomorrow just so I'm ready because next week I'll be working again that's when I'm officially gonna start working and I got my nails yesterday, done yesterday, so it's just clean, just so it will get me through the whole month up until Bernice's bachelorette. And that's it, so let's go head to our lunch date and let's try a new Japanese restaurant. I'm okay, showing you guys my outfit. Today's like a little preppy look. There, it's all brown. Oh my god. It's so funny guys, this is just me, but I feel like I forgot to vlog already, like how to vlog. <laughs> Help! <laughs> Nina, how's the night? My heart's been ripped wide open So many mixed emotions It's like I finally noticed I've been set free I've been set free So the thing about me, I always leave noodles so good you should just order soup. Soup with no noodles. <laughs> so sayang. Finish it. Babe, so sayang your rice. My god, this is good for three. But now I see. But now I see. Oh, I see this love is taking over. Breaking through my chest and overflow. Okay, so we are finally home. I think the rest of the day, Ben and I will just chill i started to watch the hills again if you guys are millennial babies or 1990 babies like me so i grew up in the 2000s so i grew up watching the hills with lauren conrad with heidi with spencer and stephen coletti so if you guys haven't seen it if you guys are younger than me or maybe a little bit older than me they're actually available on netflix so it's a fun watch super easy watch like it's like before the Kardashians, like you feel like Kardashians is very scripted. This one feels so natural because especially if you were born in that era and it's almost the same age as them, it, it will remind you so much of your teenage years or your growing up years. So all the drama, all like the things that they like, the fashion. I even want to do like one reel with like how they used to dress up. It's so, it's, it's just nostalgic. So anyway, I'm going to dress up. I'm going to remove my makeup feels amazing and then I'm just gonna be watching the hills so let's go Lying in a hotel so Babe, it's a new year, new us. Bantay ka ha? Bantay ka. 